I've got a real project I've been working on, and today I'm gonna share how I actually picked my tech stack. I'll go through the options I considered, why I ruled some of them out, and explain my thought process for why I chose the final tech stack. First, what I'm building is an application that allows users to store lists of movies and TV shows they wanna watch. I'm calling it watchwith.tv, and you can actually check it out now if you want. The goal of the application is to have one central place for your watch list, so you don't have to scroll endlessly through a streaming provider hoping to find something that catches your interest. And I want your watch list to show you the current streaming providers that are airing that particular show or movie. This way, you can go to your list, figure out what you wanna watch, and know where you can watch it. So my application will need the following components a database for storing information about users, their watch lists, TV and movie data, and streaming providers. I'll need an authentication system to authenticate the users, and a server that will act as both the back end for any API calls and the front end for all the UI. And then I need to define the constraints and existing assets I have for this project. First, I'll be building this myself, so I wanna keep the solution simple. I also wanna keep the cost down as much as possible. I have an existing shared hosting site I use for some websites. Uh, that runs with PHP and MySQL, so that's one possibility for a tech stack. I'm also very familiar with JavaScript, TypeScript, React, uh, Next.js, Postgres. So those are other options I'll be considering when figuring out what to use for my tech stack. So now that I know my list of assets and constraints, I wanna figure out what are possible candidates for the different components. Right now, I just wanna figure out what are my options that I can consider. For the database, I could obviously use MySQL on the shared hosting site, that's one option. I also looked into some options for Postgres, and it seemed like right now the two best ones uh, are Supabase and Neon. Supabase costs about $25 a month, but it does come with authentication features. And then there's um, Neon, which is usage-based and starts at around $5 a month. For authentication, Supabase has authentication built in. So that's one option if I go with that as a database. Neon also has some authentication features, but right now that's in beta, but it still is an option. If I end up going with like Next.js or some other type of JavaScript, TypeScript-based server, um, I can use Better Auth. That's a library for rolling your own authentication system. If I go with a PHP server, I can go with a library like Delight IM, which is a way to add authentication to a PHP application. Finally, I can use an OAuth solution like AWS Cognito, which is something I have used in the past. Now for the server, I could go full JavaScript with Next.js, and that would cover both the server side and any type of browser side code I need to have because that's React, so it'll just automatically be handled. If I go that route, I can deploy to Vercel or Netlify, Hostinger, any similar platform. Another option is to use PHP as the server on the shared hosting site, and in that case, I'll have to write either vanilla JavaScript or React for any type of browser side interactions that needs to happen. Now that I have all my candidates, I see these as puzzle pieces, and what I wanna do is I wanna group these puzzle pieces together into possible tech stacks that will use the different puzzle pieces, the different candidates that I've come up with so far. This way I can consider each group independently to figure out the pros and the cons. The first group is PHP. In that case, I'll be using my shared hosting site for the server, MySQL for the database, uh, and then either Delight IM or Cognito for the authentication. The second group is Next.js. And in that case, I'll have to figure out what hosting platform I'm using, like Vercel or Netlify. The database will be either Neon or Supabase. And the authentication will be either Supabase, Neon's beta features, the Better Auth library, or AWS Cognito. But I can further divide this second group into two separate stacks. Because Supabase has its own built-in authentication, I can consider that one stack where I'm using Next.js and Supabase with its own authentication, and the other stack is Next.js with Neon, and then either the, the beta features, Cognito, or Better Auth. So now I have three separate stacks I can separately consider. So what are the costs and benefits of each group? For Supabase, I know that'll be $25 for the database and auth, and then I'll need another, let's say $10 if I go with Netlify. So it's gonna be about $35 a month to go with that solution. But the benefit is I can save time by not worrying about authentication since it's built into Supabase itself. If I use Neon, let's just pretend I'm at the minimum usage and therefore I'll need about $5 a month the database and then $10 a month for hosting at Netlify again. So now I'm at $15 a month for my costs. That's less than Supabase. 
but I'll also need to spend some time integrating authentication. To be honest, I'm not that crazy about using a beta feature that's brand new, so I'm gonna rule that one out. So that leaves better auth or Cognito. However, I've used OAuth with Next.js app router before, about six months ago, and it was an absolute nightmare trying to get Next Auth, Next.js, and OAuth all working together. Uh, the, the, the Next Auth library for Next.js it was originally written for the page router. And so using it inside the app router, it just didn't work. I ended up having to, after days of trying to get it to work, I finally scratched it and just had to write my own. And unfortunately that was not in code base that I own. So I don't have access to that code anymore. So I have to go through that whole process again of rewriting it. So I'm also going to rule out uh, AWS or OAuth in general from this solution. So that basically leaves me with using Neon with better auth in this tech stack. And again, the cost is gonna be about $15 a month, but it's also gonna be some cost for extra time uh, figuring out better auth, adding it into the application and getting the database tables running, all that good stuff. Finally, the PHP solution won't actually cost me any money because I'm already paying for the shared hosting. But I do think there are some hidden costs and risks. First, with the database itself, um, it's a shared database and I don't really know how much power is behind it. Um, it can get kind of slow sometimes when load is high from other users and I'd rather avoid that. that that's a, a risk I'm not sure I really want to take on. I'll also need to spend some time deciding on the actual structure of the client side code, the code that goes out to the browser and adds interactivity. So I'll need to figure out like, how do I structure that? I'll need to figure out what bundler to use. Am I using Vanilla.js or React? How do I bundle that down to a file the browser can actually run inside of it? Um, all that's gonna add a lot of extra overhead, which is gonna make it longer for me to be able to ship this product. So that's an additional cost I have to factor in if I decide on this particular this solution. And lastly, I haven't actually used PHP a whole lot in the last at least five years, probably longer, maybe like eight years. So there's gonna be a period where I'm just gonna be slow, kind of getting back up to speed and just kind of, you know, retraining my brain to work in PHP land. So that's another cost I have to factor in as well. There is one other feature that I forgot to mention, and that is I'd like for the authentication to support magic links, meaning you know, a user just needs to sign up, get an email, and authenticate through clicking a link in their email, as opposed to worrying about passwords. I know Stupabay supports it. I know that BetterAuth will support it with a plugin, uh, and I'm, but I'm not sure if Delight.im supports it. So that might be another factor to rule out PHP. Now that I have all the pros and cons written down, I can go through and see if I can choose one or at least eliminate any from the list. And first, I think I can rule out the PHP solution. I wanna move fast on this project, and so I don't want to have to spend the time coming up with the, the bundler solution, kind of ramping myself back up into PHP, figuring out how am I gonna get a LAMP stack running locally to do local development. Um, all these things are basically adding too much friction for me to be able to deliver this very quickly. So the PHP solution is, is out. So it's down to either the Superbase solution that costs $35 a month, but comes with authentication already bundled in and ready to go, or the Neon solution that's gonna cost me $15 a month, a little bit less, but I'm gonna have to roll my own authentication using the Better Off library. So again, since I'm prioritizing speed here, I'm the, the, really what I'm comparing is there's an extra $20 a month for Superbase, but that comes with authentication and I don't have to do any time to get that working or I can save that little bit of extra money and now I have to spend time learning better off, figuring out how that works and then actually implement it. So in this case, I'm gonna go with Superbase because even though both options are good, I particularly want the speed of going with a pre-made solution. So Superbase it is. So what is the final tech stack that I chose? For the database and authentication, I'm going with Superbase. So that means I have a Postgres database and the ability to do magic links. My server will run on Next.js and it'll run on a platform like Netlify. So that'll be for my backend and my front end. And my client side code will automatically be handled inside that same server. So that means I'll be using React for any type of client side interactivity. This particular stack meets my needs for this project, but all three of the options that I came up with were good options. There isn't really a perfect stack to pick. It's just what's the right stack that I need right now for this project. 
What would you have chosen? Do you think I missed anything? Or were there any options that I should have considered that I didn't think about? Let me know in the comments. And my app, watchwith.tv, is live now if you want to check it out. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.